guys, welcome back. So today I created another makeup look for you. I absolutely love how this came out. I don't normally do like glitter and stuff because I hate glitter because it just like always gets in my eye after I use it. Um, so if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Starting out with a completely clean face, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade six and pounce it all over my face with my dampened Real Techniques sponge just to give my base, my face a nice base. Then going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm taking two shades, one that's closer to my actual skin tone and one that is lighter just to highlight around my face. And I'm putting the concealer everywhere that I want to highlight and bring forward. And then taking the lighter one and putting it on tops of my cheekbones and then I'm going to blend it in with my my dampened beauty sponge. Next, to set the concealer, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm just putting it right on my beauty blender and just putting it underneath everywhere where we put the concealer just to set everything and bring it forward as well. After that, I'm gonna be taking a bronzer. This bronzer is from Hourglass. I love this bronzer. This is the Radiant Bronze Light. I couldn't remember the name of it. I'm just going to dunk my Sigma F10 brush into the bronzer and put it all around the perimeter of my face, underneath my cheekbones, around my hairline. You know the drill. I'm also going to be taking it on the sides of my nose as well, just to give my nose just a little bit of contour. Next, picking up my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Soft Brown in my angled brush from Anastasia as well. This is the number 12 brush. And just filling in my eyebrows, making sure they are nice and filled in without any gaps. And then flicking it up in the front and then I will spoolie it through and do the same thing with the other side. Next, picking up the Huda Beauty palette, I'm taking the color Sandalwood on the Sigma E40 blending brush and just blending this into the upper crease and crease area as a transition shade. I just want this color to be very seamless and I do build it up quite a bit. After that, I'm gonna be taking the next brown shade in the color Henna and I'm put putting this on my Sigma E25 blending brush and putting this more into the crease area but still bringing it up just a little bit, making sure that it is nicely transitioning into my transition shade that I put in pre previously, and obviously doing it to both of my eyes, making sure it is nice and gradient. Next, taking this red shade in this kind of little brownish, reddish shade, I'm putting this on my eyelids, packing it all over the lid, making sure it is nicely blended into that crease area. After I have it all padded out, I'm going to take my Sigma E25 blending brush and blend it into my crease, making sure that all of the colors are seamlessly blended together. And then you can see here, going back in, making sure the edges are blended between all of the shades. After that, I'm going to be taking the brownish shade and I'm going to be putting it underneath my eyes, underneath my lower lash line and blending it in really closely to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking the brown shade that we used and really smoking it out there, making sure it is once again all seamless. After that, I'm going to be taking my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and my Sigma E05, I think it is, liner brush, giving myself a nice wing. After that, I am going to be taking this awesome silver liner, which I'm so excited to use. I hadn't used it before but before I need to fill in all of my liner as well first and I like to really extend it in the front and in the inner part of my eye so you can see here I'm giving myself a little bit of a point inside my inner tear duct area next I am taking the Tarte um, eye jewels. I'm taking the silver, but I'm not taking the glitter. I'm just taking this one right here. And I'm just going to trace over the top of the liquid or the um, wicked gel liner just to give myself a nice little umph right there. Next, just take any mascara and give yourself a couple coats of mascara. This one is from Neutrogena. And then I'm taking my favorite lashes as of right now are my Flutter Lashes in Slayla. I absolutely love these lashes. They are just about perfect. I just can't stop using them. For blush, I'm taking my Hourglass Blush in Euphoric Fusion, I think it was, and just putting it all over my cheekbones with my Sigma E40, or no, F40 um, angled brush, and then taking my Smashbox Highlighter Palette with the one with Casey Holmes. This is the pearl one, and I'm putting it on top of my cheekbones, and then putting it on the bridge of my nose and my Cupid's bow as well. 
And lastly, I'm taking my Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the color Everything Nice. I thought this went really well with the eye look.